Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called HQ Rocks Pack. Now, I know what you're thinking, Jimmy, why are you reviewing rocks? There are millions and millions of rocks everywhere, all over the Asset Store, and I know, and quite frankly, it does irritate me because no one actually knows what kind of rocks they want. This particular pack, I feel, is actually quite a nice pack and stands out as one of the better ones on the Asset Store. So let's take a look at one of the demo scenes. This demo scene is nicely laid out for our rocks. And if we go into demo two, we have each individual rock sorted like so. Now you think, Jimmy, they don't quite look uh, high quality. Well, in actual fact, I think they are because this is just a standard scene. OK, there's nothing special about this. Realistically, this would do just fine on mobile devices. I mean, there's little bits, extra things you can do to make them look even better, but we'll get into that in just a moment. So quantity-wise, there are loads of rocks. I know it sounds crazy, but there are generally loads of rocks for you to use. So I think you're never going to be short of different rock colors, styles, or anything. And you can always change some of these rocks as well if you wanted to. You know, you could change the scale, I guess, and do whatever so if you've got a bit of a rocky area in your game then yeah you, you've got a nice choice of rocks here quality yeah i think they are nice enough to get the super awesome ones you probably would have to pay but don't forget you're never restricted to just the asset as it comes you could take the asset and modify the uh, material for example so let's make this look a little bit better and give it an effect of i don't know let's I say I maybe a wet effect or something or make them just look a little better so let's see what we can do if we play around and customize the asset ourselves so let's go to the normal map right there and let's click on grayscale and click on apply and already you can see it's got a different type of texture to it so let's now change the material to an albedo alpha and let's take a look in the game view so there we go it looks as though it's a little bit wet now it's been raining i guess um let's i don't know let's change the normal map you can see again it changes let's take the smoothness down a little and normal map back to one and you can see now it has got a bit of a different texture type to it which isn't too bad actually it's quite nice uh, again, if we did this to all the rocks, then yeah, that's pretty awesome as well. So I think it all comes down to how you want to portray your rock. So if I take all of these, all the normal maps, and click on grayscale and click on apply, we should see this change, hopefully, <laughs> quite quickly, when Unity decides it's going to do it. There we go. So now let's apply some kind of... Let's add Add some post processing to our camera you guys know i love the post processing so it is all about customization with these rocks i guess it depends what kind of environment you want to go for that's not too bad a bit sandy that look um let's let's see, let's try it maybe take everything back to how it was or we could just change everything to albedo alpha yeah, it's okay. Let's let's try the albedo alpha. So I want to go to, uh, oh gosh, where are they? Textures. So it's in materials. Let's change them all to be albedo. There we go. So again, it just depends what kind of image you want to portray with your uh, normal maps on these. It, it really is. I mean, there's no set way. It's just how you want to customize all of these rocks. Yes, I know, rocks. So I'm going to undo all of that and head back to the actual normal maps and change them back again. I want to keep it how I had it. There we go. Do that. Undo. Apply. So yeah, it's all about how you want to create your rocks. Uh, Price-wise, it is free, which is always a good thing, you know. Assets do change price from time to time. Just be mindful of that. Size is 100 megabytes. So just be mindful of that size. That size may trip you up a little bit because you wouldn't think that rocks are so large, but these are uh, high resolution, as you see here, right there. So I think just be a little bit mindful if you're on a slow connection or whatever. 
Uh, extras, there's not really anything in the way of extras. You get a little terrain and a little extra um, texture for it right there, ground, but nothing really in, it in the way of extras. Usefulness, obviously if you're creating a wilderness, a quarry, a cliff, anything like that, anything that requires rocks and stones, then yeah, these are going to be really, really nice to use. So I would at least recommend taking a look at them. Now let's increase the normal map to three. Ooh, cool. <laughs> Didn't expect that. So what about albedo? There we go. So I've got the whole wet, rainy look on them. I like that. So yeah, uh, as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And like I said earlier, I think this is one of the better rock packs that you get for free on the asset store because there's a lot of choice here to use. And obviously, it's always down to your own customization, how you want to play around with them. Um, you know, don't just take it for what it is. Do what you need to do. If you're creating a cave or something, these are going to be really good to use. So yes, I would recommend these rocks. Uh, so guys, have you used this? Let me know if you have. Uh, what have you used it for? Do you like them? Don't you like them? Let me know in the comments. And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, please also let me know in the comments because I'd love to um, check it out and possibly review it in one of these videos. Finally, guys, don't forget, click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well. And you can stay up to date with everything I've got on video game development on my channel because there is loads to learn, loads to see and loads to do, guys. You will come away from my channel a better person, <laughs> I hope. So anyway, guys, yep, that was that. Thank you very much for watching.